The entertainment industry is one of the toughest industries to be in because you're selling to an audience of experts, heavily trained at recognizing what's interesting and what's not interesting. Generative AI is a branch of machine learning that essentially is a bunch of statistical models that are able to generate artwork or text based on encoding features of the training set mathematically and then decoding them from math to content. The visual stuff is really quite spectacular and can output some very sophisticated visuals. Text generation is more limited in the sense that it doesn't actually understand what it is outputting. It's able to mimic human text very well, but it does not have an ability to articulate a narrator. It sometimes spits out writing that sounds authoritative and confident, but is completely bogus. The first woman president of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton, served as the 45th president of the United States from January 20th, 2017 to January 20th, 2025. It is not able to do what the human brain does really well, which is to take low level data and abstract it into higher level, more symbolic meaning. Without the context, it's very hard for an AI application to have meaningful value in the world of humans because the world of humans is a world of rich context. It basically is very good at outputting bad and boring text. You can use ChatGPT to write a dialogue. I said, write a commercial for Mint Mobile in the voice of Ryan Reynolds. All the big wireless companies out there are ending their holiday promos, but not Mint Mobile. We're keeping the party going because we're just that damn good. And stay classy, everyone. That is mildly terrifying, but compelling. To turn that into a good scene, you're going to have to massage it quite a bit. And to turn the good scene into a full-length script is actually even harder. So you have to have more human in the loop. That soul-to-soul -soul connection is what makes art interesting. The fact that a non-human can do it, that's not very inspiring. What's inspiring is the magic of a human rising to a superhuman level of sensitivity to extract something from their own human condition that it speaks to everybody else. There's no future in which AI creates more jobs than it disrupts. That's a fantasy. A lot of the automation throughout the production, post-production process means that a lot of assistant positions will be less and less relevant, but I think the core skills of the entertainment industry will remain. I think it is going to very substantially disrupt storyboarding, the post-production process, and all that stuff. We're going to be able to walk into a production office with a very fleshed out project, much more so than, than two or three years ago. The demand for entertainment will always be very, very stable. The supply of entertainment, on the other hand, is exploding and generative AI is definitely making that a bigger problem for the studios because generative AI will create even more competitors, even more compelling content, and it will create a higher pressure for the studios to develop their own AI-driven capability to try to fit the content that they're producing with audience tastes in a more data-driven environment. That, I think, is the real disruptor.